I think so, before the cops show up. <laughs> In this episode of Garage Idiots, we are going to put this 60 pound turbo on the 1.5 liter D15, and we're going to see if it'll spool it. For the first video of this Civic, everyone and their mom said don't cut it up. I'm fairly certain I said we're probably not going to cut it up because it is a hatch, but you guys all still felt very uh, inclined to tell me do not cut it up. So I wanted to reassure you, we are not going to cut it up, but the engine bay area of things, we are going to abuse. Papa's a trunk thing, hatch, truck bed. This genuine eBay uh, header. Um, so what I'm gonna try and do is make a turbo manifold out of this. I've already changed my mind. Um, for the sake of time and ease, since this is a very non-important um, expedition we're about to embark on, I'm gonna leave this. Um, I'm going to take this off, cut this, and then flip this up, and then, uh, <laughs> Okay, so I broke this turbo. You can see that chunk missing. There's another chunk somewhere. Um, this is a glorified paperweight at this point. I like it because it's big, but uh, there's really not a way to repair that without replacing this. So as far as I'm concerned, we are never going to use this for anything important, but it does spin. Um, so what I'm going to do is cap the oil lines, and I'm just going to fill the housing with oil and then just put bolts on both sides. And um, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the Civic exhaust is big enough to put an entire Civic exhaust in each one of these holes. I don't know if you guys can tell. I mean, this is this is a big turbo. So I don't know how I'm going to do that yet, but <laughs> so that's the new plane. That's going to come straight up. I don't know where this is going to sit, but uh, just so you know, we're going to preserve those for a little bit longer. But I will cut them eventually, I promise. In the past, with some of our other uh, stuff we've done, you might have thought that uh, it was janky. Behold, friends, the jankiest that I've ever done. This is my uh, adapter going from little tiny to big-ish enough to fit on the turbo. Ta-da! Some handiwork with uh, the vise and some pliers. So I'm gonna fill these gigantic gaps. Um, one issue I am foreseeing is I'm gonna have to weld this to the turbo flange um, and I don't know if I can fully weld it while it's on the car, but we're gonna find out. So you have my permission to judge this, but uh, it's not gonna do you any good because I'm aware of how bad it is. But that's the point in this car.
turbo is fully welded <laughs> to the exhaust manifold. Um, also, the, the turbo magically just cleaned itself up and spray painted itself silver, so that's cool. Um, like I said before, this is uh, hands down the jankiest thing I think I've ever done involving exhaust. I'll give myself the uh, benefit of the doubt. I may have done something worse, but exhaust turbo wise, this is the ugliest, stupidest thing I've ever done. Like I said, that's literally the point of this. So now that that is on fully welded, uh, we got to route some intercooler piping. Okay, boys and girls, in today's lessons of how not to turbo something, there's your example. Um, so all of these random couplers and pipes are from the junkyard from months ago. And everything there is from Saabs or Volvos. This one I haven't found a good use for yet, but it's super cool. <laughs> this is from a Volvo. So that's where all that came from. Uh, it will serve its purpose for what we're about to try. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and start it and see how it is. Don't judge me, I'm putting headphones on. I don't like loud noises. Dang it. Oh, that's the keys. Those are needed to start a vehicle. I guess the next step is to go drive it, yeah? I didn't even think that thing was gonna spin at all. It's an old, big turbo, but it did the job. Sorry if I was yelling at you. Um, cool, well, let's go drive it. <laughs> I had this unplugged that whole time. It's probably what was idling all funky. Need to be bled too, but we're not gonna bleed that. We're just gonna, <laughs> just gonna go drive it. Um, so we'll bleed the clutch and then see how it drives. Yes. Yes. I don't know. It just looks. It literally it looks like it's making a thousand horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> From there, but From the, the, yeah, look at that and that. Yeah. And so that yeah. looks like I spray painted that too. I it's all shiny. Saw that. Yeah. <laughs> no wastegate too. No. All the boots. Yes. Oh. 60 pounds. Oh, that's what I want to do is try and hook up a boost cage. Oh, I think there's is there one in here. Okay, clutch is bled. Okay, we just hooked up the boost gauge, put a vacuum line, got power to the boost gauge, so we can <laughs> see all those two pounds coming on very hard. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, that's loose. It's super loose, yeah. Yeah. We are so excited to do Oh, it matches the shift knob. Oh, look is at that! The blue ones are red. Yes! Oh, yes. Like I said before, I'm more excited to drive this more than I was excited to drive my Civic. It's it's surprisingly fun. Oh, I believe it. Because I I drove Brandon's <laughs> D16 hatch, uh -huh. and I was so sad with how slow it was. Oh, yeah. And then I drove this, and like at the top of first, I was like, <laughs> oh, boost. Oh, it doesn't match anymore. Oh, wait. Now it matches again. You ready? Sure. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Get 
begins the car. Sammy! Here goes nothing. <laughs> We're gonna die. Shut up. <laughs> oh, the clutch feels bad again. Preston's listening to music, that's what's on his, on his ears. Shut up. <laughs> the jankiest turbo setup ever. Yeah, we're gonna see if it works. No. It's a five dollar Civic with a twenty-five dollar turbo. Yeah. yeah. No wastegate, no in a cooler, right? Yeah. Good. No blow up. HX55 off of a 12 liter diesel. So we didn't think it was gonna spool and it turns out it's not. <laughs> yes, every time it shifted the whole thing would choke off. show up. So what's what's our idea to spool it? So we're gonna put a soft turbo. <laughs> 
to so, spool. Yeah, we're thinking shove <laughs> an exhaust in there and then weld it. And then bring that up, yeah. put a sob turbo here, and then run the sobs boost. It's somewhere up here. Sure, we can go as high as we want. And then okay. run the sobs boost into, into there. Yeah. Gosh, we're gonna have to get a big fat coupler. We'll make something. Yeah. But run it into there, and then maybe that'll get that to spool. Maybe. If anything, well, we're not really gonna know if that one spools because the sob's gonna be making. But I think well. The sob will make like five or six pounds. Yeah. So we're never gonna know if that actually if spools. That actually, but it looks cool. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we'll leave it on there. Yeah. And if that doesn't work, we'll see if someone has a nitrous kit. Maybe. Ah, I don't know. And I mean. We could definitely blow it up with one sob turbo. Yeah. We need to think of more experimental things to do before we ruin it. Okay. You know? Well, we'll do sob turbo and then. Go from there. Okay. So give us your suggestions on what other stupid turbo blow up ideas you have oh, for this. Man. And then as soon as that motor's gone, we'll put Brandon's built D16 in here, yeah? Yep. That's and that'll plan. make that'll make some power. I think I mean a healthy like a healthy 350 out of the D16 would be pretty cool. Well yeah, it's a power belt, right? I think so. Yeah. yeah. It'll be so 350 that, safe. So is that pistons rods? That's pistons rod yeah, pistons rods. Mm. I don't know if he has anything for the head. I don't know if he does. Do you need anything for the head for three hundred? Not for three hundred. Okay. No. I can would be nice just because the single cam, but yeah. it doesn't need it. Yeah. It doesn't need it. Yeah, three hundred would be a blast. I mean, Okay, well, yeah. we tried it. Well done. Good, yeah. good driving, sir. Yeah, good burnout. You. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>